do this. Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing super good. And I'm doing really well. I am really happy to be here back with you guys. Um, if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you know that I was gone in Costa Rica. I did a water fast with Dr. Graham. So I was in Costa Rica at a retreat center with Dr. Graham and he's been doing water fasting retreats for more than 20 years now. And I am doing the lifestyle coaching program with him. And part of the program is that you have to water fast. And after interning with him in September in Washington and seeing people fast there and the benefits that they were experiencing just made me want to really try this and experience it for myself. A thing about me is that I always, I'm always looking for ways to bring my health to the next level, whether that's by eating better or exercising more or sleeping more or drinking more water. I always want to feel my best because I know that if I feel my best, I am going to do my best in everything that I do. So some of you might be wondering, why is anyone going to water fast and just drink water? Well, it's very simple. <laughs> uh, when you water fast, you're really letting your body rest. You're, you're resting completely because you are most of the time you're just lying down and you're not eating anything. You're only drinking water. So your body doesn't have to work to eliminate toxins, to digest food, and your body can divert all of that energy into healing. And I know that in my previous lifestyle, with my eating habits and alcohol and cigarettes and drugs and everything, I damaged my body a lot. And yes, 80-10-10 can heal, and eating a raw vegan lifestyle can heal your body from many things. But when you water fast, it's like a reset button. And I wouldn't recommend for anyone to do this alone. I would recommend them to do it with someone that knows about this and can guide you and so you can be checked on and that everything is good because fasting is not for everyone. And uh, when I first went, I didn't know exactly how many days I was, gonna, I was going to do. My first number was 21 days, but Honestly, you kind of just have to take it one day at a time and at the end I did 25 days of just water fasting and I have to tell you guys that it has been one of the best things that I've ever done in my life and although during the fast I, I felt like I wanted it to pass by really fast and time felt endless but now looking back I'm so happy that I did it. I really am. And the first few days, the first week was the hardest for me just emotionally. I had a lot of emotional detoxing that I had to do, things from the past, and just a lot of things were coming up. And then by day 15, I felt a lot more better, just a new energy. I, was, I felt like I was just cruising in the fast. Physically, I didn't have any symptoms. I had a pretty pretty good fast and being in a supportive environment really helped a lot because there were 16 of us wa uh, water fasting each one of us for different reasons but just being together in the same spirit really helped a lot so that was really good and I learned a lot about myself I was with myself for a long time my relationship with God really strengthened I was reading the Bible a lot because it was very inspirational for me. It gave me a lot of comfort during that time and just getting more in touch with myself and with my goals in life and with being in the present more than anything because I learned that now this moment right now is the only one that matters and there's so much around us that sometimes coming back to the present moment can be really hard with just but just with patience and peace in your heart it's really easy to come back to it so I just feel a lot more peaceful 
a lot more centered, a lot more focused, and I'm really happy I did it. And I'm gonna put a video clip of <laughs> day 25 when I broke my fast and the first bite I took of watermelon, I just, I was overwhelmed. I was happy and so, so grateful. And just the flavors were like amazing. <laughs> right? It's a special variety, it's called the fasting watermelon. It's like the most fasting watermelon. Watermelon on steroids is like. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I did have a lot of thoughts about food. Especially at night, I would think a lot about food and I would spend a lot of time on the internet and Pinterest looking at pictures. And I try not to get on Instagram too much, but <laughs> just think a lot of thoughts about food from before, foods that I liked when I was young or just my favorite foods and I would look at food and it was it was funny but um, as soon as I tasted that watermelon I knew that fruit is just the best and I'm so grateful to eat this way because everything is just tasting amazing right now and well that's basically it um, thank you all for watching this video and thank you all for, for your support and please uh, leave me comments below. I want to know what kind of videos you like and because I have a lot of ideas, I have a lot of things that I want to share with you because this journey and this lifestyle has been a huge blessing for me. I have healed so much and grown so much and I want to help you all do the same. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like my video and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>